Hi guys. Yep, that is a wooden frame you're looking at. <coughs> I have started to crudely construct a table for this end. Yes, I am aware that leg is very much on the piss. In fact, I think most of them are. Um, yeah, I'll have to put this. I'll straighten all that up tomorrow. It's only to sort of roughly put together for now. Um, I need to borrow a set square um, from my stepdad if he's got one, just so as I can make sure this top bit is square. I don't, I'm not really fussed about the legs, to be honest. Um, I've just got two more sections to build, and then I can clear all that corner out and put it in place. Ooh, motorbike's racing around town. Just bear with me one sec. Okay. Yeah, uh, I've put that wood there because I want to reserve that for the um, mobile spotlights. <laughs> That's what I want to do with that. Um, so I can have a bit of uh, extra lighting if I need it. Um, and I also want to look, I'm going to have a look on eBay if I can find a twin spotlight like those to put up there. Um, just for the table that's going to be up this corner. That's all that's going to be for. That's why that one's on a separate switch and power supply to these two, because these two are primarily my work lights. Um, which might change. <laughs> oh, that thing! I keep getting what smells like weed coming off of it, but it isn't. Because uh, there's no way on this to hide any weed. Because I did find this in the street. Um, actually it was in a hedge where um, me and stepdad were collecting some granite chippings. <laughs> so I just threw it in the back of the bloody car while I was there. But um, it's just the rubber base which is smelling similar to weed. No, actually it's the plastic. It's the plastic, it smells so much like weed. I wonder if someone was using it as a weed store out in the street. Uh, it really does smell like it, but there isn't anywhere to actually hide it. <laughs> oh well. It's rather faded, it's been outside for quite some time. Anyway, um, what else have I been up to today? Oh yeah, put a pair of those lights on my old Hercules bike. And uh, I've upgraded them to use Krypton bulbs. Well, I've got a whole section in this tray of bulbs. Um, there, which are Kryptons. Those are halogens. And those ones are just standard torch bulbs. So I thought, why not? <clears throat> so they're now running... Kryptons, I sh we did have two pairs of these, but um, the front one sort of felt pieces. I think the plastic has got a bit too brittle because um, the top bit here that you lift up to open it, to do that, it just all cracked and split and all the lens fell out. I did try a bit of super glue to try and glue it back together, but it just wouldn't hold because. Um, so much force was needed to open the light, it was just breaking every time, so I just threw it in the bin, took the bulb out, threw it in the bin. It's no biggie, I'll probably find more of those on eBay, if I want any more. Um, another pair would be nice, because I do like those lights. Um, once you've got them angled correctly on your bike, they're actually um, pretty effective. 
bit of battery drainers, but effective. <laughs> that reminds me, I've got a pair of D size of D cells on charge. Watch the time, they can go off charge now. I've had long enough. I get up there. Oh, shit. They've had plenty long enough to charge. Oh, yeah, I've got two more sections of that to build. That'll be done tomorrow. I don't know, I can just sit it in place ready. Take measurements of the size of the um, tops I need, because I'll have to do it in two pieces, because of the shape, and uh, see if my stepdad's got any ply to do it. And, uh, Hopefully, next time I come back from Mum's, not only will I have the set square to uh, make sure this table is all square before I put the lid on, but uh, with a lid as well. Or top, I should say, not lid. A fucking lid, what am I calling that lid? A couple of planks on there, I was thinking of um, making some shells out of. I could make a couple of small ones out of it. I'll just give it a rub down with some sandpaper. Um, <laughs> I had to take that off my old rally bike because, uh, well, you can see the rust stain in the bottom of this one. Because uh, it managed to fill itself with water. There's a couple of millimetres of water sitting in the bottom of the lens. So uh, I thought I'd, before it done too much damage or irreparable damage, I um, brought it upstairs, emptied the, well, I emptied the water out downstairs, brought it up here and just let it dry out on there. But uh, that's not a bad thing, because I didn't want to find um, some alternative lights to put on it. So, that is the problem with these. Because the lenses only clip on, they don't create a tight enough seal with the um, because all that is is a silicon rubber seal. It's basically the same stuff those um, funny bike lights I use. Where are they? I think it's a similar stuff to uh, this. this sort of silicon rubber stuff. That's all these seals are. But um, because it's only clipped on, you don't get a good seal. And that means... Uh, Damp and water can get in. I've got to clean the um, contacts up. But uh, it does look like I did get to it before um, irreparable damage was done. <coughs> Thankfully. Because uh, you don't get LEDs like that anymore. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I'll give the lens a wash out. Uh, I'm just so hoping I have enough wood for that. <laughs> uh, I need another two of those that length, whatever they are. I should have, I thought I had four in total for that, but it don't matter. I can cut some if necessary. Um... These shorter ones down here I might use for the four legs. Uh, I don't know. Just a second. I think these ones are too short. No, they're a smidge too tall, actually. According to this, anyway. I just need the um, top trimmed, so I only need four more legs. Yeah, two more sections, four more legs, because um, I'm going to screw, because this, this bit isn't long enough for this gap here. Um, but the easiest way I've thought of, as I didn't have any, this is the longest I had of this, the easiest option I thought of was just to make another section to go on there. So I'll just make the other section up with two legs, that would be up by the wall, and then just screw it to this like that and then when I do the bit to 
fill in this gap to make the L shape I'll just screw it to this side so I only need four legs because uh, it will be supported here with these two legs if it's a bit flimsy then I can always stick an extra leg in that don't matter but uh, despite the spirit level says it's all level on this top bit it's still still rocks for some reason no we've had another random car pull on the car part and the cleaner's got a boot on it looks like stuff is uh, transparent oh well it's not my business <laughs> Um, out of these long bits then, if I plan it right, so, yeah, I'm just doing a bit of planning. If I trim these four pieces up for the four legs, and that means I've got all those, I've got another short piece there, hang on a minute. Well, that's a completely different piece of. That's actually a piece of pine, that is. I think. Yep. Smells of pine, so that's a piece of pine, that. That's a different bit of wood. This is just cheap shit. I don't actually know what it is, but it's pretty damn soft. Because, uh. It doesn't smell like pine. Nope, that's not pine. I don't know what that is. So, anyway, I've got left one long bit whoops two long bits three four five six seven if I count that that should be enough to make two of those keeping in, keeping in mind they're going to be a lot shorter but that, yeah, that does mean I think that's another bit of pine, hang on. Yep, that's another bit of pine. So that can go there. Ah. Maybe I could make a couple of legs out of the pine. Ah, but then they're not really long enough for anything else than one, so I don't know. So I need two of that length. That's gonna well, it's gonna take four of these to do one section. <laughs> That's gonna leave me with three pieces. No, oh, hang on. What did I say? Four pieces to do this next section. I've got another two of these. <laughs> and that is actually going to... Yeah, I can do it. Yep, four pieces per section. There's eight pieces left. Yeah, I've got enough... I've got enough shit here to do it with. It doesn't matter that these are different lengths, so I can... Because they've got to be cut anyway. And I've got the four legs. Yay! Good to go for tomorrow then, aren't I? Oh, pardon me. Well, that's all right then. Um, I just got to find a home for his bed. Well, actually, if there's room, his bed could go underneath the table. Because I'm definitely not gonna, with the table that height, I'm definitely not gonna need um a lot of space for those. My computer's doing something. That is one thing I've noticed with Windows 10. It tends to do things all on its own. And that just pissed me off. I just heard it click on something. Uh, I'm just going to link a picture to my friend. Well, not link. Um, send him the link. So you can see what I've been up to. And there's the cap. 
posing in the photo when I took it. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, so that's pretty much my plan for tomorrow. To uh, I will try and straighten a couple of these legs out. I'll remove a screw, pull them straight, and put screw the screw back in. I can see two at least that need that done. Um, this one on this front corner and over on that back corner on the uh, right hand side uh, this one on the back left here that actually looks pretty straight maybe that's why it's sitting on the piss because these legs are on the piss <laughs> but yeah it's not going to go right up to the sofa either so I think tomorrow before I continue because I'm going to need to measure up the um, end section for that I'll um, pull all this out of the way clear the sofa put all that Lego layout on the sofa I think I might be a little bit off I might need to bring the table in that way but um, bring all the coffee table out the laptops and everything I'm going to stack up the top there and um, and I can position this frame and then take measurements I've already got a home for the floor lamp that's going to go between the um, computer desks for now um, well that's why I plan to put the Christmas tree I don't know what I'm going to put it on I was thinking that stool actually that's what I was thinking of Possibly. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting rid of the sofa. Because I don't really use it. But then again, it is handy to have. Yeah, so that's the plan for tomorrow. The weather is supposed to be crap most of the week, so I don't think I'll do much outside. Besides, I haven't got a lot to do outside now anyway. Oh, and the um, trailer was empty today, so I've got new scrap in my trailer. Which means... I'm now able to um, repaint it. So, um, Thursday, I'm going to grab some cheap paint brushes, because I usually just use them once and throw them in the bin, because... After the first use, if you use cheap ones, they usually fall to bits anyway, so I'll just get a couple of the um, tins of paint, if QDs have got it. It's um, £1.30 for a tin, and it is designed for outside use on metal and whatnot, so... But this time, instead of giving it one coat, so it only lasts like a year or two, I'm going to give it um, a couple of coats. That might last uh, a bit longer. So I'm going to get a couple of tins. I was having some spare in a bad thing. Oops. And well, it's not expensive, so that'll just tidy it up. Because at the moment, it, the trailer itself is looking looking um, a bit of an eyesore because all the surface rust colour has started to come through the paint. It hasn't rusted, rusted, but um, the colour has started to come through again. So I've got to give it all a nice rub down. And uh, I'll give it a quick coat of paint. I never, I've never done a super job on the trailer because, well, being a trailer, it gets banged and knocked around anyway. So I didn't think there was any point to um, doing a super two, super duper A1 top notch paint job on it. Just enough to um, tidy it up. Mind you, no one's complained about it. But, uh, I think I've actually just, just, just discovered a use for one of those, um, planks of wood I've got. <laughs> uh, but there is some work I do need to do. I need to pu finish pulling the rest of the old electrics off. So I should think that four gang switch is knackered now. It's been out there in all weathers, so... Oh, hell.
Oh, he replied 20 minutes ago. My Facebook didn't know it was wrong. Someone replied to my phone about 20 minutes ago, but... Ah, that's why, because I didn't look. <laughs> there we go. No. Right. Here we go. thing I did today as well, let me forgot, stuck that up, that was still sealed in the box when I got it, I bought three of them from um, the all sorts shop in town, um, one's in the wardrobe, one is underneath the wood on that stool, because, um, well, the battery covers, or the battery pack is missing, and the um, mounting plate is missing as well, I've got them, and I know I've put them up somewhere, I just couldn't remember where I put them up, where I, there, try again, where I put them, so I just went and grabbed the um, last one I had sealed in a box and uh, stuck it up. There's no batteries in it yet, because I need to get some new ones anyway. And you can uh, angle them, the battery's just got two locking clips there, you just unlock it and drop it off. Put your four double A batteries in, clip it back up and lock it in place. Then you've got switch here which is um well it's labelled high low. Obviously high it's brighter, low is dimmer. You can adjust the um angle of your lights as well. I actually have to say when they're on high they're quite bright. There is a um socket in the end for a six volt adapter. Um, doesn't say 6 volt, but uh, logic says it is, because uh, 4 times AA batteries at 1.5 volts each is uh, 6 volts. So, logically, it should be a 6 volt battery. But yeah, to mount them up, you, they just give you a plastic plate, which has got like 2 um, posts on that lock of these. And you just screw it to the surface that you want to mount the light on, and then just hook it on, just like that. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this third one yet. I've actually found a use for two of them. Well, that's why I bought them. <laughs> Can't remember what I paid for them. I think they're about one pound each or something. You know, I paid thirty pence for that bloody thing. Oh, it is quite effective. <clears throat> yeah. I just realised I've got the top of that cabinet free now, haven't I? Uh, yeah. I haven't decided what I'm going to put on there yet. I could put anything on there, I could actually, that would actually be an idea, standing some of these poxy computer towers on there out of the way, or at least the ones that I want to work on, that'll give me some shelf space at least, won't it, I could pull the Dell power edge out of there and that might stand on there, <laughs> too tall and that's not going to go um, under that shelf, but yeah, the power edge might. Uh, and I want to swap that ed advent out, advent, I've got an advent, the advent down now I'm going to swap out and put up 
I'll stand that up here out of the way. And the Windows 2000 PC, that I, well, the Dell 2400 I converted to a Windows 2000 PC, will go in its place. And I've got to reconnect the 4600, but uh, for the time being I will clear that and uh, put the side panel back on this one and put that back on the wardrobe. Oh yeah, that's my Windows Millennium PC. I still can't remember if, even if that one's a working PC. I'm going to have to pull that down <laughs> and have a look. I cannot remember what that silver one is. I know the um, Dell on the end there. That um, doesn't work. That's a project. That's the only reason I kept it, actually, just for a project. Uh, I need to get up there and have a good sort out up there. But I've got loads of keyboards that I don't really need. Um, so I'm going to go through those, I think. I've got the step ladders up here, so... Friggin' Apple Mac down there. Um, actually... No, I don't think it'll stand on there. Otherwise, I was going to throw it up there, but that might have to go down in that corner. Is that white computer case there? I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. If anything. But I was just thinking I could, with a bit of a shift around again. Um, because those two Dells on the bottom there, they would stand up right beside that one out of the way. Uh, if I have a sort out up there, I could probably get a few more up there. But I think for now, I'll clear that. If I'm quiet and don't drop anything on the floor, I can do it now. Because it's gone 11 o'clock. And obviously, because all these flats are exactly the same, my neighbour's bedroom is down there. But uh, as you've probably noticed, I'm pretty light on my feet. Uh, yeah, I need to clear some room in here anyway. I think for the time being that can go on the chest of drawers out of the way. Because sorting the PCs out at that corner can be a job for another day. I'm uh, <coughs> wanting to get that done. Because, um, to me, this corner really does look untidy with the radio down there and these all stacked. So, hopefully when this is all done, and everything's underneath, it's going to look a lot tidier. So, um, yeah, I hope. That's the general plan. <laughs> Plans don't always work, but that's the general plan. Take these out of the kitchen, I've got some washing up to do. <sighs> be nice if that fucking bike would sell that my way. Uh, that's actually the one I want to get done sooner rather than later. Because uh, I do have use for that dinky little thing. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Um, I need to find a home for those cars because that cabinet is going to go over there but that server can go over there because I need a surface to sit a laptop on and because it will probably be the RM I think that will do for this job because I'm going to sit or try to sit a webcam up here and um, see if I can record something half decent with the webcam. And maybe a um, separate microphone. Even though I'm pretty certain all the webcams I've got do have built in microphones. But um, apart from the Microsoft Life Cam, all the cameras I've got work on um, Windows XP, so. I've got a little Windows XP laptop down there, and it should be 
plenty man enough just to make a video when I record on here. So I thought I can't really, you know, set this up unless we sort of like that. Let's get some light on the subject, you know. But I've got no way of mounting it like that unless I make something up. But uh, I figured with a webcam it would sort of hook over this edge, or I could, you know, I could find a way to stick the base to that and fold it over. I'll experiment. But uh, I'll start a project in the lounge, so uh, I'll get that done first. Then I'll move on to this. Uh, uh, I've still got all my bloody Lego instructions down there to go through. Might just leave them in that box and take them into the lounge. Anyway, that's all for this video. So if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe for more videos, and uh, I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.